So, Tara's not with us because she's in the midst of moving this week, but fortunately, Luke Spencer, Rock Reviews, has been kind enough to join us to do uh, What the Fuck is Wrong. How are you doing, Luke? I am great. Um, this whole month has been chaotic, but I'm back to normal now, so I'm looking forward to yeah, getting normal, normal life back. Okay, and I'm starting with Radio Dead here, I know. Tomorrow, I'm looking back forward to getting back to normal tomorrow, then. How does that sound? Uh... Nash, the last time I was on this show, you sent me a naked libertarian, a man that swallowed nails, and another man who pooped on a U-scan. Yeah. So... Whatever my expectations are, they don't really matter, do they? No. <laughs> oh, God. Whoa. I, I, uh, that le- the last story this week, man. I'm it sorry. tops all those? What? It tops those? God. Yeah. What did I sign up for? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It really, yeah. It's, it's kind of. <sighs> are you ready? I don't know now. Should I go pray in the corner for a second? Can you give me 30 seconds? No. Oh, fine. I'm ready. All right. Intro time. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little something we like to call, what the fuck is wrong with you? Crazy. Um, so we're, we're, this crazy first one... I wouldn't say this is bad, but, uh, you know, even, I don't even have kids. I just have a cat. And even I know you got to watch the little shits because not, not 20 minutes ago, um, I turn around and Grady is, is playing with a sponge, a kitchen sponge that we more than likely were using to, to clean up all the horrible mess that was left in here and he's Weren't just happily... cleaning up mold weren't you cleaning up mold and stuff yeah and he's happily just gnawing on it it was probably in the trash and i'm like you gotta watch them yeah so from Ugh. from that um this is kind of bless their hearts and I'm, I'm a little impressed i gotta say i'm a little impressed Oh, man. And everybody sent me this story. Every single person sent me this one. Uh, this eight-year-old boy drives four-year-old sister to McDonald's after watching YouTube driving videos. Wow. Talk about the thumbs up. You get a, You don't even need a like at that point. You've already earned the approval of the video. That's impressive. The driver's what? staff could not believe their eyes when an eight-year-old boy pulled up in a van to order some burgers. Did he go through the drive-thru? He went through the drive-thru. Ah, that's amazing. The young boy from Ohio parked on a joyride alongside his four-year-old sister in the father's work van after becoming over- overwhelmed by a hamburger craving, according to Fox 8. The incident occurred around 8 p.m. on Sunday after the, the children's dad arrived back from work and headed to bed for an early night. Uh, the kids decided to get in the vehicle after their mother fell asleep on the sofa. Witnesses later saw the young boy driving the van and immediately called police. Somewhat astoundingly, the boy informed the officer he had learned to drive by closely observing YouTube videos. Closely observing YouTube videos? <laughs> The boy drove a mile to the McDonald's restaurant via intersections and across railroad tracks with no accidents or mishaps. Witnesses even say the boy appeared to be observing traffic laws and drove in line with the speed limit. Um, McDonald workers thought they were being pranked when the boy pulled up in the drive-thru brandishing his piggy bank. <laughs> The workers thought the parents were in back, but obviously there weren't. <coughs> now this is this broke kind of broke my heart. After being approached by the police, the young boy is reported to have burst into tears, immediately realizing he had done something wrong. Speaking through the tears, he told the officers he had really wanted a cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that little boy deserves a cheeseburger. He, he should not have to shake his piggy bank if he drove himself there. First of all, good for him for taking care of his sister, <laughs> bringing the four-year-old along. <laughs> not enough big brothers do that anymore. <laughs> Second of all, where was dad? Asleep. Where was the father of the work van? Asleep. You gotta watch kids, man. <laughs> That's oh my gosh. First of all, I don't know if you've ever if, if you've ever worked a drive through before. No. My first job, I, it was like a pizza place, but it had a drive through. Oh, you get pranked. You get pranked by every stupid teenager and dumb kid you can think of, and just stupid stuff like that. If I would have saw that though, that kid gets whatever he wants. <laughs> I'd be like. Dude, it's on me. I don't give a fuck. Can I get a picture? Can I please get a picture with you, pal? That's... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He... Second of all, he's the coolest kid in school now. <laughs> yes! <laughs> really? What did you do this weekend? Drove to McDonald's. <laughs> his voice got deeper after the weekend, too. After that whole thing, his voice dropped down by far. <laughs> There's no way around it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but it's like the story has to end and I do feel bad for the kid. He's eight, you know, if he's smart enough to access YouTube and has the concept and functionality to drive his father's car, smart kid, right? I, he's going to get into a lot of trouble later on in life. Like and when he's growing up, realizing he can get away with whatever he wants because his father's somewhere i also I, I was i read early in a, in a different article about the same story he even put his sister in the baby seat and strapped her in that's even better i did all the shit and the four-year-old was fine with this apparently oh my gosh <laughs> looks like i'm the man of the house now sally <laughs> oh my gosh dad you have been replaced by an eight-year-old for the day. How does that feel? <laughs> He's feeding your daughter. He's taking her to the safety car in the safety seat to McDonald's. Uh. <laughs> the drive through thing, him driving through the drive through without hitting anything. That's the best part. That's impressive. Well, um, oh, God, this the next one is another one of these. This is kind of impressive. It's wrong, but it's impressive. Um, I won't. I won't think this is cute. You might. I well, I think this first one's cute. If I would have seen, I want to meet this little eight-year-old boy. To be honest. Okay. Well, let's shift gears to prison. <laughs> That's not cute at all. Prison. <laughs> what am I going to find cute about prison? Well, when you think about prison, you think they normally have procedures in place to deal with contraband and and you know to to stop to keep an eye on the prisoners. Yeah. From Oh, these guys! I'm I'm kind of impressed they managed to pull this shit off because wow, this is some Hogan's hero shit. Prisoners built two PCs from parts, hid them in the ceiling, connected to the state network, and did cyber shenanigans. Shen okay. Five prisoners in the U.S. built two personal computers from parts hid them behind a plywood board in the ceiling of a closet, connected those computers to the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Corrections Network to engage in cyber shenanigans. Um, they, uh, so what they were doing was uh, they got these parts out of uh, one of the shops they had, the, the oh, what the fuck, the vocational shops they had in the prison. And they yeah. managed to smuggle piece by piece through security enough spare parts to build two computers. And then the balls on these guys, um, they uh, use the department's offender tracking system to steal personal information of another inmate and use those details to successfully apply for five credit cards. The... Okay, um, let's backtrack a little. They were able to smuggle a monitor and other equipment big enough, like a motherboard, and not one security guard noticed? No. In fact, part of how they were logging in was, and the reason they got caught, they were using a guard's login credentials. Oh. 
that they managed nice. to, they social engineered him. They managed to yeah. guess his information, his 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 uh, reset questions. And the only reason they got caught was the IT administrator noticed that the guard was logged in on days he wasn't actually on shift. Yeah. That is, uh, I mean, that is some impressive network engineering if you can hack into your prison, like, which is a state-owned stuff, from a homemade computer that you're not even supposed to have. Yeah, I mean, this... This, this is a long-term project, too. So how many people did this take? I, I, I don't know how that's many... That's... I mean, that's impressive, but holy crap, if they weren't stopped, like, at this point, how much farther could they have gone? And how bad are you running your prison where the motherfuckers right. can just build... A couple computers and hide that shit in the ceiling. I like I the picture you sent. Like you can see the network wiring and stuff. I'm assuming that's like Ethernet cables that mm -hmm. just hanging. Also, how are they getting? Like, is the prison just above like the plywood boards? It shouldn't it be a little more secure so they can't just crawl through that at night. It should be. That's like day one stuff. Oh look, I guess that's my escape route. Andy Dufresne was way off. I don't have to spend 20 <laughs> years sticking through this. Oh, Shawshank Redemption. I'm not crawling through all that feces tunnel. <laughs> well, again, though, that kind of blows my mind. How do they get a monitor? The motherboard. These are not like tiny Raspberry Pi components, you Actually, know? Actually, if you know what you're doing, you can take the monitor from a laptop and if you understand the wiring and you have enough patience and enough time, say, like in prison, you can get you can convert those little wires into their individual pinouts and connect them to a DVI connector. You can okay. do it. OK, that's fine. And I get that. But still, they would need like a converter and things like that, like from a laptop. Right. Oh. So, yeah. So that's still more pieces. And that's even more complicated. Not to mention they still have to get like even a 10 inch like monitor screen. Like, did they just like hide it in their shirt and just walk awkwardly back to the cell? Man, if we had a story a while back, a guy stuck a whole goddamn guitar down his pants and walked out of Guitar Center. Nobody fucking cared. It's a tumor. OK, stop pointing it out. I already have enough pain. <clears throat> ding, 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 with the chest. I, I mean, for also, I want to point out the headline of this, the register.co.uk headline has the word cyber shenanigans yeah. in its main title. Yeah. Wow. The register is, is wonderful. It's one of the best IT sites on the internet. I, yeah, I've heard, I've read articles on there before just for learning and stuff, but cyber shenanigans. Why has not why has it web well, they, they did they did other stuff too. They uh, had uh, password cracking tools, VPN tools, network enumeration tools, handcrafted software, proxy tools, and software. So they were hacking people yeah. from prison. They had to like to even get into the state's network and stuff like that. That can't be on some like public land, like public local area network. That has to be on a private area, like a private v, even a VLAN type stuff for the security and everything. I just I, and, lo I love it's like you can't find me. I'm behind seven proxies, bitch. I'm in prison. <laughs> I'm behind steel bars. Ugh. You have to you have to wonder if any uh, di IT director noticed an intrusion and went correctional facility. What the fuck? What the fuck happened here? Oh, uh, how I mean. Also, we have the one other thing: the guard, social like. Someone guessed the guards' password security questions. Well, those are normally just like, what city were you born? What was your pet's name when you were a kid? What was your first car? But you would still need to know, like, the username of the guy, too, right? So they were chatting his ass up. Oh, my gosh. How dumb do you... Come on. He is so fired. He is so fucking yeah, fired. Yeah, he's, he's getting transported, like, to being security in the laundry room at this point. Uh, well, that is the end of the uh, ingenious and slightly impressive stories for the week, because from here on out, it's stupid all the way down. And it's Florida time. Oh, um, that sentence. No, <laughs> normally, you go to a laundromat to clean stuff. This guy. Just what you said makes me not want to click on this link. Florida man defiles washing machine at Soapy Coins laundromat. What, what do you mean defile? 
Florida man was arrested Saturday morning for a vile incident inside Soapy's Coin Laundromat. According to an arrest affidavit, Michael Shannon, 57, entered the laundromat around 7.40 a.m. and proceeded to defecate on the floor. Not content with that disgusting bit of criminality, Shannon then scooped up his own waste, approached a Dexter commercial washing machine. Shannon was then seen taking his own human waste and pressing it into the soap loading compartment of the front loader. That's not what they mean by a front loader, dude. That's not the kind of load they were talking about. Okay, let me see if I can get this thing. This machine taken. Uh. <laughs> and the, the look on this guy's face is definitely, yeah, shit in there, so what? What you gonna do about it? Cops wouldn't even touch me. I bet you won't. Please. Oh. Well, but there has to be a reason why. That's not typical crazy person behavior. No, there is nothing in this story to explain it. <laughs> We're left to wonder. We are left to ponder why in the hell a 57-year-old man would take a shit in a laundromat and then put it in the front loader. <laughs> Did he think his poop was so great that he could, like, wash other people's clothes and it would come out cleaner? Like, that was, like, his mutant power? Well, That's a lame-ass mutant power, man. It is. It is. Dumbo. If you're on the X-Men, they're like, what can you do? I can wash clothes with my poop. Yeah, instead I don't think... A, instead of a cape, he has the duty drop bottom. Yeah. Well, I come on though. It says at the bottom, cops estimated damage to the washing machine at four hundred and seventy-five dollars. Get a new washing machine. No one is ever going to use that washing machine again. Every no. time they walk into Soapy's Coin Laundromat, they're going to ask, "Which one was the poop one?" Yeah, I don't even want to use the machines next to it either. Also, what spot of the floor did he get it from? Saint Soapy's. <laughs> what? Also. There had to have been a bathroom at Sophie's, right? <laughs> yes. And there's like no way. Oh, sorry, both bathroom toilets are broken. You'll have to hold it. There's no way. What kind of game plan did this guy have? What was the what was the end result? What was he that's what I want to know the most. What was he hoping to accomplish from this? Well, maybe maybe he just decided it was time to give a shit. Oh, Nash. I know. You're you're what? so much better than that joke. What, Grady? What? You are smart. You are smarter than um. Oh, Dumpo. What are we calling oh, this guy? Come on, man. Grady's giving me hell over that one. But yeah, well, you know, your war, your war cat. You're gonna be able. He's getting so big, you're gonna be able to put a har bit of harness on him and ride him into battle at this point. What? Look at. Leave the sponge <laughs> alone. He's going for the sponge, Grady. That is not a toy. Get down. I will feast on whatever I want, human. God damn it. Hold on a second. He, I, he's, you're fine. He should not have this in his mouth. I'll entertain, I'll entertain everyone while you're gone. Great. So, everyone. That's what I thought. Oh, that's what late. I thought. He's going to try and put that. Why does he want the, It can't taste very good. If it smells and it looks colorful, it goes in your mouth. Don't you even think about it. I'm watching you. <laughs> I don't want to be quoted by that internet, by the way. I don't ever want to be. I don't want that repeated on some weird blog with my face on it. No. Uh, come on. So Soapies has to change their name. You, ha you have to rebrand the entire, the entire front of the building. You can't be known as the poop dramat or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> you go in to get stains out, not put more stains in. Oh, we got our what next one. What was the end goal? Why? Why would you do it? What's the purpose? You're never going to know. You're I never going to know. You're never going to know. Man, I'm looking at this mugshot. He has a, there's a reason why he did that. It wasn't just a bad day. It wasn't just he finally was off his meds. No, he had a reason for t picking up his own feces and shoving it in like a big pouch of Tide. Dude, don't, 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 don't think about it. Your blood will shoot out your nose. I am going to be up all night now wondering why this guy wants to wash his someone's clothes. Did he put some? Did he put this in? So, oh my gosh, can you imagine if he did this in so like a machine with someone else's clothes in there? Oh my gosh! Laundry, oh, 
The fabric softener smells kind of weird. I don't understand. Did you did you get snuggle? The bear kind of smells off. I don't know why. This this is the Charmin bear, I think, not the snuggle bear. <laughs> Oh, boy. All right. Our next one is one of those rare stories that the only reason it's on here is because nobody got hurt. And I'm amazed nobody got hurt. Good, good. That that at least makes me a little bit happier. This comes from Wales. Oh. Um, the, uh, the country, not the mammals. Um, <coughs> 50-year-old who placed barbed wire across forest cycle path ordered to attend, quote, thinking skills course. Was that thinking skills course in prison? And that's where it should be. A 50-year-old man who placed barbed wire across a forest cycle path was ordered to extend a thinking skills course yesterday. David Roberts of Henlon Road, uh, North Wales, was placed under a 12-month community order with rehabilitation. Uh, he pled guilty to attempting to assault someone causing actual bodily harm. Magistrates heard 10 feet of rusty barbed wire had been left at chest height, wrapped around tree branches. Prosecutor is... James Neary in Natural Resources Wales had covert cameras to monitor wildlife and footage of a vehicle was recorded in the area. After his arrest, Roberts told police he had an altercation with an unknown motorcyclist who used the path at high speed. Motorcyclist has kicked his dog and the defendant lost his temper. Quote, he claimed his intention was not to hurt. He wanted to slow the motorcyclist. He was livid about the altercation. Um, no, it, barbed wire is not one of the things you use when you don't want to hurt somebody. Why does Mr. Neary want to construct these saw level obstacle courses in the woods or on well, that's these the, that's the prosecutor roberts was the one who's arrested but oh yeah. excuse me but you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. though well the guy kicked his dog which i can understand if somebody kicked i'd be grady, angry too yeah if somebody kicked grady i whooped ass i yeah. wouldn't you know break out like fucking horror movie tropes you know that was too, like he filmed his own little montage, like tying barbed wire around trees. Yeah, I mean, this, oh. this is this is like one step away from summoning pumpkin head and shit. <laughs> he was just waiting there, like in the woods, watching for four hours, waiting for this guy. Like, this, you no, know he was too. This is oh. this is the point where you're thinking about what's my costume going to be? Do I might be a fisherman with a hook, or maybe I get a mask. <laughs> I yeah. can't do the scream mask. That's not creepy enough. Yeah, that's not creepy. That's, that's been no. It's been done. That's, yeah, come on. I mean, oh, what? Oh, okay. I I grew up with dogs all my life. If someone kicked my dog, yeah, I'd lose it right then. I'd make sure my dog. I'd was punch okay. a motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. Make sure the dog's okay too. Right then, yeah. um, I would call the cops. Then I wouldn't set up this future plan to organize like this painful possibly fatal yeah. trap that someone else could get in trouble like get hurt by what if the kid was like riding their bike you could if someone's going fast enough into barbed wire i don't know if decapitation is possible <laughs> but definitely you're like carving into flesh that's yeah. what barbed wire is for exactly and it says chest height for that guy what if some kid was riding their bike that's eye level at that point uh -huh. yeah then what? Oh, sorry, that was meant for someone else. Is that what you're gonna tell the kid? Oh, sorry, sorry, my bad. Yo, oh, sorry. just walk it off, huh? Walk it off. You're okay. Keep it down, though. The guy's gonna come. Keep it down. Stop crying <laughs> so loud. It'll be okay. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, Jesus uh, you said Christ. no one was hurt, right? No one was hurt. Yes, the the cameras out there caught it before anyone could actually. Run into the fucking barbed wire. Yeah, I love the fact that also there's just there's footage somewhere of this whale's redneck wrapping barbed wire around trees, like making up this scheme, and then just waiting patiently. Like, I'll wait. <laughs> Gonna come down sometime. I don't have a job. What do I need? Oh, well, let's go from a, 
Let's What's go, going on in Wales? Let's go move from, on. Let's go from a Wales redneck to a Quebec redneck. Oh, French Canadian rednecks, eh? Have you ever had car trouble and not enough money to fix it? Sure have. It sucks. Have you ever tried a little do-it-yourself? Yes, to the point where I was afraid of damaging the car and making it worse, then I stopped. Here's my worst do-it-yourself story. Um, I used to be uh, on-site repair for Dell way back in the day, and uh, I was I and I had to use my own vehicle expenses, miles, and stuff like that. But I had drove my car a lot, and I right. ended up at an appointment, and my muffler dropped. Oh, it was just sort of bad. hanging. So was what I did, yeah. So what I did Ooh. was, I took duct tape. And wrapped it around my entire car to keep the muffler from dragging so I could get home. Like around the whole body, around the Yes. The what? Yes. yes. You're calling other people rednecks and you're doing that? That was just it. No, okay. You know what? This tops it. I promise you, this fucking tops that. <laughs> I okay. have, I am. You know, let he was out. I get, I get you were desperate. I get that. Don't uh, trust me. If I was desperate, I would think of some crazy thing too. But okay, uh, uh, uh. this tops it. This, this absolute. Oh come on, wrong place. I need to send it to them. There we go. This absolutely tops it. Quebec driver charged after police find suspension made from wooden logs and chicken wire. Oh my god! And here's a picture. Has no tailbone left. He has Look no at that shit. Left. That's awful. A driver who used wooden logs and chicken wire to reinforce his vehicle suspension was ticketed and had his car impounded by police following yeah. a traffic stop. Um, police say oh, they you don't pass you don't pass inspection. Police say they uh, pulled over the 1999 Toyota Tercel. Uh, after noticing the car didn't have working brake lights, after pulling the car over, they discovered the 28-year-old driver had no proof of insurance and an open beer in the front seat. Well, okay, <laughs> there's a shocker. Cool. I, I'm pretty sure that open beer follows him wherever he goes, by the way, if this is his fix-all scheme. That's, <laughs> there's never one out of his hand. A closer inspection of the car also revealed that three of the four tires showed signs of advanced wear, including no tread in some spots. It was missing its windshield wipers and it had a weird rear suspension held in place by the by wooden the logs. logs. Oh my gosh. How do you even ride on that? I don't know. Oh, that like hurts thinking about just like going over a speed bump, you know? You know, you know what I'm amazed? No duct tape was involved. That's what's amazing me. Chicken wire and a log. Yeah, I mean, have it, this is Canada. Haven't you ever seen the Red Green Show? <laughs> he has. <laughs> I mean, for God's sake, no duct tape. No duct tape. Oh, uh, I don't. Okay. There's a fine line between having ingenuity and being able to like MacGyvering a situation. This guy went way past that, though. You know, that there's something in our brains, in most people's brains, that would make them go, well, i got two options here. I can just not drive the car, or I can stuff a log in there. And most people, we go with, I sh probably should not drive the car. This guy took the road less, less traveled and put a log... And I have to wonder, what is in your brain that makes you go, log is the better option? Has he never, ever once heard of a cab or Uber? Yeah, I mean, I know they have. They gotta have Uber. It's Quebec. It's not some third world country. But, okay, and also, suspension? I Okay, windshield wipers don't work. I get that. Your, your tail light's out. Fine, I understand that. Ball tires. Okay, but that's becoming unsafe at that point. You have no suspension, so you jam a log inside your hood. Ugh. What? And, do, you think this guy has, do you think this guy has his own YouTube series like on how to do his home repair for the engine? Uh, you, don't need, uh, you don't need oil. Just make it at home with some do-it-yourself soap. Just squirt it right in. Ugh. 
I, I, I can't get over that though. Like this guy, how do you drive on that? I, that's like, you, like you ever ridden on the back of a school bus, you know, back in the day, like you, the, it would bounce everywhere because it was just so long. I'm willing, that's what I, part of me is guessing that this guy, the entire car is falling the fucking part, but yeah, he probably has the most bitchin' stereo in that thing. His rims look amazing. Probably, yeah. Oh my god, he has the subs, but no actual back seat. Like he just ripped that out just to place two subs. <laughs> but oh man, All I right. mean, we have a lot of the do-it-yourself thing on this guy. It's getting to the point where. The hospital bills. That's a good question. If you're fixing your car, will the hospital bills cost more than fixing the car itself? Potential hospital costs. Well, it's in Canada, so... You get the point. Come on. Oh, okay. Um, is the potential prison bail going to be more than fixing the car? I keep forgetting that, too. Yeah, our nation, healthcare. That's right. Canada, you don't have to pay if there's an accident. Yeah. Is that we? Am I weird for thinking that's weird? Yeah, we're 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 the backward country now. We are, we are so backwards. All right, it's time for the last one. And ladies and gentlemen, if you feel you need to bow out, I get you. Okay? That doesn't go for me, apparently. No, you're, you're stuck. You're I'm trapped. Stuck. You're stuck. Great. Um, Ugh. this one is. This is that perfect combination of insanely stupid and unbelievably creepy just sort of crammed together and i will point out no one was directly harmed by this thank that god is, that is not a good selling point for what i'm about to see i feel yeah it's it's not however this fucking happened and i don't even Man kept stolen brain beneath porch, used it to get high. Well, Joshua the... Lee Long charged with abuse of corpse conspiracy. What kind? What kind of sick horror movie is this guy living in? Look at the mugshot. Yeah. This, that okay. First of all, yeah, that does look like a guy that would smoke someone's brain. Central uh, Pennsylvania man was charged Thursday after police said he sprayed fluid used to embalm a human brain on marijuana that he then smoked. Why? <laughs> State police in Carlisle charged 26-year-old Joshua Lee Long with abuse of a corpse and conspiracy. Court records indicate Long's aunt contacted detectives after finding a human brain in a department store bag under a porch while cleaning out a trailer. Long oh, way. you went to Macy's? What'd you get me? Ah, ah, ah. Long allegedly told her during a phone conversation from the Cumberland County Jail, he used the formaldehyde-soaked pot to get high. The defendant related he knew it was illegal to have the brain and that he and another man would spray the embalming fluid on weed to get high. Court records indicate that the coroner concluded the brain was real, and that Long supposedly named it Freddy. He kept Freddy under a porch to help him get high. Did he put googly eyes on the brain too and treat him <laughs> like a little pet and talk to him while he was high? Is that too far-fetched? Did that, does that cross in the line for this gentleman? Corners Come on, Freddy, let's go for a walk. And put a leash on him and dragged him around the the yard and stuff. Oh, the that, coroners, okay. the, the coroners who examined the brain believe it was most likely a stolen teaching specimen, which means thank God this jackass didn't actually dig someone up, carve someone's brain out. <clears throat> but son, I, where did the thought process come? Where that's a good idea, though, because I don't think that's ever happened before. Even cannibals would just eat it. This this is how I, I if I'm not mistaken, this isn't this how one of the Return of the Living Dead movies went? It's the plot of one of those crappy B-rate 70s movies. Uh, even that would have been like something too stupid for them. 
I, a stoner horror movie? I don't... Okay, I don't know who that um, brain donor was. He, his family should be very upset right now. Yeah, they, 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 he donated his brain to make people smarter, and this guy used it to make himself stupid. Yeah. And again, look at that mugshot. Uh, it worked. It worked. Oh my gosh. I just... I, this is this motherfucker read some shit on the internet is all I could think. And you know what he could have done? He could have just it's it's horrible for you, of course. You should never fucking do this. Just go buy your own formaldehyde. Yeah. Don't what why the brain? <laughs> also, if it's a jar of formaldehyde and like a brain and stuff, why are you taking the brain with you and then keeping it under a porch? This is Freddy. He's my friend. Pet him gently, kids. Pet him gently. He doesn't like his fur to be ruffled. That is oh my... just... That is insanely creepy. Oh my gosh. How, though? Like, how long did it say this has been going on? Like, has, the, like, has he been doing this for... Oh, yeah. Last month, I got my new pet. Oh. I just... It's... This is... This like, we is... Always... We always talk about, like, oh, yeah, old man Johnson down the street. He's creepy. He talks to cats. Oh, yeah, old lady Smith down the street. She's real mean, and she shouts at cars as they drive by. Oh, yeah, this guy, he's 26. He has a brain. <laughs> oh, man, he's his friend. The brain's Freddy, and he's his pet, his friend, his lover, everything. Uh, if you ever want to know when it's time to stop smoking pot, this is when it's time to stop smoking pot. That's a lot of pot. How high do you have to get where you think that's a good idea? That's like bath salts level. I just, you got a brain under your porch. Also, he's not waking up high every morning unless it's just that much in his system. Holy crap. What did I do last night? <laughs> I think the first thing we learned this week is this is how you know you're doing you're doing too much drugs. Everyone in central Pennsylvania, go talk to your neighbors. Make sure they don't have anything under their porch. It's not too late. I live in Florida right now, and even I think this is messed up. Do you understand what I just said, everyone? Uh, we learned that um, if your car repairs involve lumber maybe you should take it to a real mechanic this french canadian sounds a lot smarter and safer now i have to admit i could at least be around that guy we've learned if if your plan for contending with someone who has wronged you involves some shit out of a horror film de-escalate yeah. De fucking escalate. Uh, uh. We've learned there is one laundromat in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> you you should never go. Just okay. The name Soapies is forever tarnished. You know not to go. I'm sorry. That's a disclaimer to the. I'm sure which was a nice company before. If you can't trust it, you can't. Why is that machine only ten cents to wash in? Why is there a brown stain on the front loader for the soap? Why is there brown soap? Who's using that? Oh, we've learned that prisons are not as secure as one might think. <laughs> there's and there's an officer bar ready level stupid officer who's guarding these people. And we've learned you can practically teach yourself to do anything with YouTube videos. Including that drive little... a car. That little boy is the smartest kid in this whole group of stories. He's kind of my hero. Eight years old, he's a genius. Let's figure that out right he's, now. Just to be able to turn to his sister and go, well, the adults are asleep. You want cheeseburgers? Fuck it. Let's go. I got the keys. <laughs> Come on, Susie. Man, I, I don't, like, also, for that drive through if that little kid can order the meal, have little Susie or Sally in the back, go through, and the piggy, the piggy bags would get me. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> shaking it in like shaking it in the person's hands, you know. 
Uh, okay, we ended on a lighter note. I like that. Not Brain Smoker. That sounds like a metal band, by the way. Or, or again, a B movie from the eighties. Yeah, definitely. Brain I don't even, smoker. I don't even know a a horror stoner film. Uh, okay, no, no. Let's go back to the eight year old. That eight year old we need to find, and he needs to be interviewed. You know, he's already worked getting a driver's license at this point. How do you reach the pedals?